What's up guys, I'm Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video I'm back with a great update from IELTS. All those people who are willing to appear for IELTS in the upcoming days, there's a great news for you. IELTS is coming up with a one skill retake option which means that if you appeared for IELTS and got your desired score in three sections but missed it in just one section which happens with most of us so in that case, you actually don't need to appear for all the four sections all over again. You just need to book the test and appear for that one section only where you missed your target. When IELTS announced about this great news, I made a video last month, but back then we didn't know a lot of details about it. But now we have many more details about this great update. So if you have any questions around it, hopefully your questions will be answered in this video. Okay, so for all those people who might not have seen my last video, let's first discuss the basic details about this program. And then of course, we'll discuss in detail, in depth about so many questions around this particular one skill retake option from IELTS. Okay, so what is this about? Many of us who appear for IELTS, either for academics or for general test, we have certain target that we want to achieve after appearing in the IELTS exam. For example, many of us who go for general test uh, want to get for the express entry program, they want to achieve 8777, that's considered the magical score. Let's say 8 in listening and 7 each in reading, writing and speaking. So if you score your desired bands in 3 sections but you miss it in 1 section, then at the moment you have to appear for all the sections all over again. Of course, this needs more money and of course you need more preparation. Next time when you go to appear for the test, you might miss your target in some other section. So since many years, test takers have been requesting this particular process that if they don't get their desired band in one band, then they don't have to appear for all the four sections. If they could appear, reappear for that one section, that would be good enough. And since finally IELTS heard about our demands and finally we have this option of single section retake. So now if you don't get your desired bands in just one section, you can appear only for that one section. You don't have to appear for all the sections. Okay, now the big question, when is it going to get started in India? So the news is that it's going to start in India somewhere in March of 2023. So just three months from now, you can get this option of single section retake in India. Some of you might ask about Canada as well. So we don't know as of now when they would starting this new process in Canada. But as of now, they have already started this process in Australia, in IDP Melbourne. This process has already been started and probably in the next month, they are planning to roll it out in the other parts of Australia as well. Okay, so now the next question is about the fee. How much is it going to cost? So we don't know the exact amounts in India because it hasn't been declared as of now. But if I try to calculate the amount that was declared, the fee that was declared for Australia for this process, it was 239 Australian dollars, which is 65% of the total fee. If you appear for the exam, it's actually 65% of that. So in India, the fee is around 15,500. And if you go for this option, then probably it's gonna cost you somewhere from 8,000 to 10,000 rupees. Okay, now the big question is about timing. What if you appeared for your test last month? Would you be able to actually go ahead to book your single section retake when they started in March for that test that you held in the month of November 2022? Most probably not. So for IELTS Australia, they have announced that you should be able to book your single section retake for 60 days time period. So let's say that uh, you appear for your test on 1st of March. So 60 days from 1st of March, which means it would be uh, all of March and April. So you should be able to book and appear for that single section retake in that 60 day time period. So if any of you have plans to go for this test in late February or in early March, I would request you to actually wait for the official announcement and then book your test so that you at least get this option of booking your single section retake if you miss your desired band in one section. Let's say if you go for the test in January and they announce it in late March, then of course you won't be eligible for that. But it totally depends on you if you're feeling confident that you can uh, score good 
in the first attempt itself, then definitely go ahead. Okay, another big question is if this would be valid for academics or for general. So the good news is that it would be applicable both for general and academics. I know many of you had this concerns that they would apply it only for academics. What would happen for the general people? So don't worry, in Australia, it has been applied both for academics and general. So most probably the same rules would apply for all over the world as well. Okay, now the next question is about the pattern. Would there be any difference in the pattern from the last time you attempted that test? So definitely not. They have already cleared it that the pattern of the IELTS single section retake would be exactly the same, just like we appeared for the first time. So no worries there. If you missed your desired band in one of the sections, then of course you just need to prepare for that one section again, same pattern. You just need to practice, practice, practice more. And hopefully the next time you would be able to clear that one section as well. Also, I saved this very important question towards the last. Who would accept this IELTS single section retake? So they have told that in the case of Australia, certain visa subclasses would actually accept it. So Australian Home Affairs would actually officially accept that, uh, that letter or your test results from the single section retake, but they have not announced it about Australia or UK or any other organizations. So it might be a case that this is why they are taking their time because they want to talk to different organizations about it. I'll definitely try to make a video about when Canada declares that it would also accept it. But it is highly recommended that before going for that option, you actually check with your organization where you're going to submit that test result that are they going to accept it or not. Most probably as in when they roll it out through the world, more and more organizations will accept it, more and more colleges, uh, different governments will accept it. I don't see any point why a particular government or an organization would reject this score. But as I said, it is definitely recommended to check it before you go for that option. Now, of course, once you've appeared for the first test, you've got your test report form. Uh, then once you appear for this test, you'll get a new test report form and you can definitely update that. Then of course, you can submit that in your organization. And this is what you need to check in your organization as well, that do they actually accept updated test report forms or not? But anyways, as we've got more details about it, probably the biggest questions, when is it going to start in India? We have the answer in March of 2023. And of course, it's going to be applicable for both academics and general tests. So none of you actually need to worry. You just need to focus on your practice. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any questions, any queries, please put it down in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.